Hello all, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the name credentials, uh, which is nothing but you know, uh, which in fact helps in integration, which is a new feature provided by Salesforce. So basically, what we do is we create a named credentials by providing the URL and its required authentication type and other required authentication parameters. So with that, you can directly call that named credentials if you are doing a HTTP callouts or any other API callouts and the authentication will be taken care of by Salesforce and you don't have to do any endpoint setting in your code. So you still have to do it, but you just have to call the name with credentials. And if you are creating it as a remote site, you don't have to do that uh, anymore if you are creating it as a name with credentials. <clears throat> so I have created one sample example for just for demonstration purpose how you can call a name with credentials name credential <coughs> when you are making a HTTP call so let me show you that so this is the first step I have created a name credential by the name name credential example and this is nothing but my own um, uh, Salesforce org I'm calling a tooling API so that's why I have given this URL and then identity type name credential and here in this example i'm using no authentication because i just wanted to show you how to call a named credential in the upcoming video in this series <clears throat> i'll show you how to use oauth authentication uh, in the next video uh, right now i'll be using no authentication using this uh, url so let me show you the i have created a sample class here i'm doing nothing you can do it in the you know um, anonymous window as well uh, I just created a class uh, just for demonstration purpose so here you are making a new HTTP callout and you are setting the endpoint here which is nothing but you are calling a named example this is nothing but uh, you know named credential we have created here and along with that I'm just adding the query which I want to do as part of the tooling API basically I'm querying the object name and the org wide default uh, uh, sharing model of that particular object so here i'm setting authorization i'm just passing my session id itself because uh, the very purpose of uh, name credential is you know uh, controlling the authentication as well but in this example i'm doing the you know authentication here by passing the session id i'll also show you how if i remove this what will i get the response so in the first step we'll see that how this works so this is request timeout and the set method get and I'm sending here. So I have saved it. Let me go to my anonymous window. So here I'm calling that of X class and the method and I'm displaying the response body. Okay, so let me go ahead and execute this. Okay, this one is here. Okay, so I have got the success code and this is the response which I have got a total for seven records were displayed and uh, this is the custom object and the type and you know sharing model edit and everything like these are the basically you know the result of that query but one thing to notice is you know this is the endpoint callout that we have made uh, you can see the named credential example which is making a HTTP request using that endpoint URL and this is the endpoint URL which has been substituted which I have created in the name and credentials so this is success so now let me you now try removing this uh, authorization here I am just commenting out okay so let me run it again Okay, now you see the response 401 which says the session expired or invalid uh, session. So this is the error we got. So in the upcoming video, I'll show you how I can use OAuth authentication in this video series. You can see here OAuth authentication. So I'll show you how we can use this one and uh, Let's see how it works. So thanks for watching till now. Please do subscribe if you like this video and which encourages me to make more such videos. And uh, thank you. Bye-bye.